Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the volume of similar solids. So first of all, what is a similar solid? Well, it's just two solids of the same type, so two rectangular prisms, two cylinders, two spheres, something that the two shapes that are similar, um, they're the same type, and they also have equal ratios of corresponding linear measures. So these corresponding linear measures, that could be the height of the two shapes or the radius or the radii of the two shapes. So another thing we need to, to note is the scale factor. The scale factor is this ratio. So whatever our corresponding linear um, measure ratio is, that's what our scale factor is. So that's, that's important. And the letter that we typically use for scale factor is K. And so that brings us to this blue sentence here. It says, if two similar solids have a scale factor of K, then the ratio of their volumes is equal to K cubed. Okay, and so we gotta be careful with the order here. Um, whatever order we put the two solids in to find the ratio for the scale factor. So let's say I have shape A divided by shape B, right? Let's say like the height of A divided by the height of B. Well, once I find that scale factor, when I use that scale factor, I need to do the volume of A over the volume of B, right? So whatever order we do A over B, we need to do that for the ratio of the height or the radius and also when we go to find the volume, okay? So we'll look at two examples. The first one, we have a couple cylinders here and we just wanna find the missing volume. So over here on the left, we'll call this cylinder A and cylinder B. So we have a small cylinder, we have a large cylinder. So we know that the radius is given to us. We have a radius of three meters and a radius of six meters. And the volume of cylinder A is given to us and we do not have the volume of cylinder B. So that's our missing volume that we're trying to find here. So we wanna go ahead and find K, which is our scale factor. So let's take the radius, actually, you know what, let's do this over here. Let's take the radius of B and divide that by the radius, radius of B, and let's divide that by the radius of A, okay? So the radius of B is six, the radius of A is three, and we get two. So what that tells us is our scale factor is two, so K is equal to two. Now, once since K is equal to two, then we can take the ratio of the volumes and set that equal to k cubed, which in this case would be two cubed, okay? So since we did b over a, we wanna do volume of b divided by volume of a, and we're gonna set that equal to two cubed or k cubed. So the volume of b, we don't know it, so we'll just say v. The volume of a is 45, pi, and we're gonna set that equal to eight, all right, because two cubed is eight. Now we just need to solve for V, so we're gonna multiply both sides by 45 pi, and we can do this in our calculator, so 45 pi times eight, okay, and that's gonna give us a volume, so volume is equal to 1130.97, and this is meters cubed, okay? All right, so there's our volume. Remember with volume, we can write our volume in terms of pi, or we can write it as a decimal approximation. So here we've got it 1,130.97 meters as a decimal approximation. But since our original volume was in terms of pi, it would be good for us to also write the new volume in terms of pi as well. So here we multiplied eight times 45 pi. You can also multiply eight times 45 and then just put pi on the end of it, right? Because we're just multiplying these three terms together. So eight times 45 is 360. So we could also write our volume as 360 pi meters cubed. So both of those answers are good. Just depends on what the question is asking you in terms of how to write your answer. All right, our second example, we have two rectangular prisms here and we wanna find the missing volume and that's gonna be our volume over here. So we'll call this A and the larger prism B. So once again, let's find our scale factor. So let's take the length, looks like we have, maybe we'll call it the width, right? So the width of B divided by the width of A, okay? So the width of B here is 12 feet and the width of A is three feet. So that gives us a scale factor or a K value of four. So now since we did width of B, we wanna do volume of B over volume of A, and we're gonna set that equal to four cubed, okay? Well, the volume of B is given to us right here. We have 1,536 feet cubed 
divided by the volume of A, and we're gonna set that equal to 64, because four cubed is 64. So if we think about um, multiplying both sides by V here, this is gonna give us 1,536 is equal to 64 V, and now we can divide both sides by 64 to find the volume of our missing shape. So we have 1,536 divided by 64, and we get 24. So our missing volume here would be 24 cubic feet. Okay, and so that is similar solids and how you can use a scale factor of a radius or a height to find a missing volume.